What's up guys, it's your girl Sammy back with another video and bro, I know it's been a minute, I know it's been a long time, it's been a long, long time coming, but I know change gon' come, you know what? We're not even going to that. We never going to that. But yeah, I know it's been a little minute, but you know, back like we never left. That's all I can really say for real. So today, guys, y'all know what it is. You see the setup, you see the vibes. Reaction video, feel me? Um, this is a little different. This is, what is it? WWE Worst Injuries of 2021. I'm curious to see this because I stopped watching wrestling, but. I don't know. I just want to see what we go on nowadays with this junk. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more my videos. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And um, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, here we go. WWE might be scripted, but if you think wrestlers don't. This junk is, and that's why I stopped watching. I believe. Watching. Well, I was mad when I found out it was scripted. With championship. Rhea Ripley wanted to prove she was worthy of being champion. What better way to do that than by taking on Nia Jax live on Raw? I remember, match, I remember at her, one but point, Ripley accidentally cut Jax near her eye. As the fight continued, the cut became worse and worse until almost half of Nia Jax's face was covered in blood. Luckily, Dang. the irresistible force was able to finish the match. However, she ended up losing when Rhea Ripley rolled her up for the three count. The SmackDown Women's Championship match that cut looked 37 was harsh. phenomenal. Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair destroyed each other. There goes Sasha. Everybody likes Sasha Banks. However, when the boss tried to mess with Belair's hair, that was going too far. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. It was just as painful as it sounds. Immediately, Banks had a mark where Bianca Belair's hair whipped. Damn! The match was over shortly after that. This next injury wasn't caused by. I couldn't do wrestling, man. This bit must be scripted. I'm really hurt with I don't even play like that. With the Lucha House Party. This led to a series of matches against the two teams. One of them was a three-on-three -three tag team match with Matt Riddle teaming up with Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metal League. While okay. the match started competitive, MVP Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin eventually got things under control and isolated Grand Metal League from his tag team partners. One mistake was all it took, though, and the Lucha was able to tag in Matt Riddle. Things went from bad to worse. When MVP came running into the ring, his right knee suddenly blew out. It was clear that something was wrong as MVP had to <gasps> around for the rest of the match. To throw salt into the wound, the hurt business ended up losing the match. Luckily, MVP continued to appear on TV. He packed the matches, I'm sorry. Wrestle. At WrestleMania 37, Sheamus won the United States Championship. Bro, Sheamus the win. Warriors first challengers was Humberto Carrillo, and the two would compete in several matches. One of them had a painful ending, however. Humberto and Sheamus were wrestling like normal when Korea went to perform a sunset flip on Sheamus. <gasps> Unfortunately, Sheamus' entire body fell directly on Humberto's left leg. Uh -huh. The Celtic warrior let go of the rope a bit too late, causing him to land on his opponent. Humberto Carrillo never got up from the floor, and eventually the referee called off the match. Luckily, Damn. the injury wasn't too serious, and Humberto Carrillo was able okay. to wrestle against him. Yeah, clearly that boy's fine for the injury would occur. A few weeks after Humberto's injury, Sheamus was wrestling Ricochet. Thanks to some help from Carrillo, Ricochet was able to pin the U.S. champion. This set up a second match between Sheamus and Humberto Carrillo, and okay. this where things went very wrong. The Luchador punched the Celtic Warrior in the face, but accidentally hit Sheamus on the nose. Within seconds, Sheamus was bleeding. It only got worse as the match continued, and Sheamus began to look like a monster in the slasher movie. On top of that, Sheamus also lost the match. Following the injury, Sheamus would have to undergo surgery his nose, and bro. a protective mask while his nose healed. After uh, losing the women's tag team championship at the Royal Rumble, Asuka and Charlotte Flair got a chance to avenge their loss a few weeks later. The Queen and the Empress teamed up to take on the women who had taken their titles, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. After fighting for a while, the Empress of Tomorrow got Nia on the mat and locked in the arm. Of course, this wasn't planned. 
Because of it, the Empress of Tomorrow had to take a short amount of time off. Damn. Before Daniel Bryan was released from WWE, he had a He's getting hurt. He better not be one that I heard, bro. The two gave it their all, but things did go wrong. During one of their matches on SmackDown, Daniel Bryan hit Cesaro with a huge missile drop kick shortly after the match started. Somehow, the move created a cut on the side of Cesaro's head. At Damn. first, it didn't seem too bad, but it quickly got worse and worse. By the end of the match, the cut was looking pretty nasty. Despite the loss of blood, the Swiss Superman managed to win the match. On NXT, Adam Russell bro. issued an open challenge. Perhaps a strong surprise, he got an answer from Russia. Ilya Dragunov took Roderick Strong up on his offer, and the two went at it. Dragunov took Strong to his version of Suplex City, but Ilya accidentally did some damage to himself. Roderick Strong fell on Ilya Dragunov's head, which caused the Russian wrestler to start bleeding between the eyes. Ah, uh, and he's dripping on his back. Oh night, my god, bro. the pain bro. was worth it, as Ilya Dragunov won the match. The, the pain was worth was it. so bad, however, that Dragunov needed stitches after <laughs> This is just the tip of the iceberg. Watch this playlist to see the best and worst of WWE. Heck no. Nah. Heck no, nah, bro. Get gone. Get gone. Get gone. Get gone. Shake. Um. Dang. That's the only thing I didn't understand about wrestling as a kid. Like, that's why I thought it was so believable. Because folks be getting hurt in wrestling. I mean, WWE folks was, you know, passing away. It's just too much stuff for me to not believe it was real until I figured out. It's storylines, and it's crazy, bro. I feel like I don't know how I could do that, man. You actually hurting me, and we just want to be playing. That's what I see wrestling as. It's playing. Yeah, you're like fake. Fi it's you're fake fighting, bro. You know how you fake fight with your sibling, and then they just hit you a little too hard. Like, bro, hit me a little too hard. I feel like that's how it be in a match. Like anything like that, but I mean, I'm gonna be mad because you just did too much. Like <laughs> you. Stitches on your eye, a nose fracture. You did too much. You just did too much, bro. I don't even want to hear. It. I don't even want to hear. You. We got. <laughs> mm -mm. Y'all just let me know if you guys thoughts and opinions on this video. Would you be a wrestler and you want to take these punches for real? Would the would the punches and the bruises and the fractures be worth it for winning? Cause I don't see it, bro. But uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below. And let me catch you guys for the next one. Bye.